G'day guys, I had a wee bit of a hiccup there, tried to start the video, but um, all these strange things all over the screen, all this information, so I had to um, close it back down again. So today we're doing, um, well, we're doing a few things. We're doing 15 mil um, AB British, um, and we're just starting them, so this is my third batch of skin I did a couple the other day. Um, and we're just starting these ones with flesh base. So I do these a bit different than I would normally do. Um, so I skip the step that's before this. And this brush is probably not good enough for this, so I'm going to get rid of it. Morning. the brush out. Give it a better one. And um, yeah, so I, I get rid of the, the first layer of um, skin that I normally do, which is shadow flesh, um, and go to this one, which is my normally my second layer. And then I do um, another one over top, and then I do a wash. So. I do flat flesh over this. Yeah, this is um, just a, a job that I want to get stuck into. I, at the moment, I'm working on um, con Confederation of the Rhine, um, Napoleonic um, Anolt Infantry, and I'm working on Swedish Infantry. And I did... Um, I did a very large batch of Swedish and um, Russian troops many years ago. Um, so um, these are for the same guy, and I've got to try and match them. And back then, I didn't write down um, my colours. So uh, it'll be interesting, because I paint very differently now than I did, I don't know, must be five or six years ago at least, maybe more. Maybe seven or eight, who knows? Time goes by so fast. Okay, Rocky, how you going, mate? Or should I call you Matt? Oh, cool. If um, I've got to go out to my parents' house, um, I'm doing that in about two hours. Um, so um, I should be back. I should be back to hop on, yeah. That'd be cool. One of these days I'll try and figure out how to do it like you do it with um, multiple people, but I'm not, um, it took me months just to get myself up and running. But no, I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, cool. Yep. Yeah, I've got, um, just got a few chores to do and, um, the rest, of, the rest of the day is mine, but um, I've been on this morning um, working on a tutorial for painting the socks and um, manes and tails and snouts of all the different horses that I've been working on. So I thought people have been, been watching what I've been doing. Well, I've actually only put one of the videos up, but I've got another another two on, on horses. So in a palomino and a I think it's a sorrel horse so that's the first batch of 16 oh, I really <coughs> excuse me just choked on a peanut um, I really enjoy um, hopping on when you guys are on so I don't know if I get as much painted but it's a laugh. So I've got four batches of these guys to do. I think there's about 16 in each in each one. So today I want to get um, 
all the flesh finished on these guys all the flesh finished on the how many 36 swedes and all the flesh done on the 36 um a note done there you go mate you say evening i say morning it is 10 22 here hey he's busy this morning five on straight away that's really cool how is everybody excellent 5 p.m so have any of you guys been um following my uh greek vitrix um like little series that i'm kind of working on my review on them Oh, that's awesome. It's nothing better than a, just a sit down and you know that it's just you and the paintbrush or you and the gaming. You're, you're, you know, um, you're enjoying it? You think it's all right? I haven't really done a review like this before on a um, set of figures. Every weekend's a hobby weekend for me. My wife goes to work at 7 o'clock or 7.30 on a Saturday morning. I get up at the same time, even though it was really frosty today and I stayed a little bit longer. And I paint all Saturday. Just have a few chores that I have to get done and it's just me and a paintbrush. So this is pretty pretty basic stuff on these guys at the moment about five of these to go because i've already done the um the other 32. so i've um picked up a wee we commission job on AB Napoleonics. Yes, it is winter. I think it was about a minus four, minus five frost this morning. It's only just winter's only just started though. You know, it hasn't. Um, we haven't had the really crazy weather yet. It's just getting cold. We had um we had no sunshine for. 18 days it was like overcast and you know really low overcast cloud for 18 days in a row it's like ah and then suddenly yesterday um we had a really good frost and um and the sun came out i have a lot of a lot to do finish my giant standard bearer base coat my house Oh my goodness, you are a busy man. Let vanish your chaos army. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, it sounds like you're going to have a lot to do. The problem with um these weekends is they finish. And it's just trying to get... Sorry, I just had to... I got paint all over my hands. Um... Just trying to get everything done in time before that before you're over now we, i'm now going to i've just got to keep all these 16 separate each group has to stay within its own so a little bit of moving around right so then i'm going on to flat flesh Just going to touch the nose, chin, and then a little bit on the cheek, a bit on the hands. Try and pick out the odd finger. It's a little bit harder in um, 
fifteens. So used to painting um twenty eights now. This is for David Maxwell, this little um, um, show show and tell this morning, so he can see how to um, paint his figures. These, these are his, and I see that um, skin doesn't have to be hard. You can actually do it quite quickly. Yeah, I must admit, I am. Um, when I go to work, um, I do think, oh, I wish I could just stay home and paint. It's just, um, it's having enough, I think, of, a, of an income. I need to get my um my, my wife said I need to get my British passport because um my dad's British and um she said then we can go over and she can travel and I can paint um, pay people stuff to pay for her <laughs> one of the biggest hurdles living in New Zealand is living in New Zealand because it's so far away from everyone else. I probably have more work now than I've ever had though. about a year and then I won't have a mortgage who knows after that eh? it's not really in focus is it let me just flick the um, auto on see if that makes it better for a second Really? Yeah. That sucks. I remember once I painted um I painted a miniature uh, with like a a dragon type thing. Put a lot of time in it. It was like really early on. Um and um I, I it was a person at the club that I well I hadn't seen a lot. They turned up and I felt like I was being nice and charged them a low price and they took the miniature away and said oh we'll pay for it when i come back next week well guess what they never came back and i was like really <laughs> did you really just do that i should have learnt my lesson because i sold a whole lot of micro armor once and to um, a guy in um, another club up the road about two hours up the road and um he was gonna send me a check and guess what never did <laughs> i never got my stuff back and i never got the money believe it or not that was when i was getting out of wargaming many years ago decided it it had kind of taken control of my life a little bit. Um, now looking back, I'm worse now than I, than I was then. Yeah, I don't actually use eBay, um, and I don't, I don't paint to sell my figures generally. 
um, and if I do I deal pretty much direct generally I just paint other people's stuff that they send me I think that's a safer safer option right that's the first 16 of those and then we come with the next one Yeah, we'll catch you later. Um, I really hope that I manage to get on when you're on. I will do my best, mate. Take care. So my son's um, into 40K, and um, he's getting married in a couple of weeks. And for his stag do, they're having a gaming day like um there's some kind of huge battle which is um he's got one of his friends that is the um D, D master i don't know much about dungeons and dragons but D, D master from the dungeons and dragons and he's going to write a script for it and they're going to play out a day and that's going to be the um <laughs> that's going to be the day for the wedding for his, his um what do you call it? Stag do. Because he doesn't drink or anything like that. Neither of it, none of his mates do. So they thought, well, what do, what do we enjoy doing? You know, why does it have to be the norm? Let's do something different. So he's asked if I'll send him up a, another um, mat um, from here. So I said, all right, I can send you up another one. So, so they can do like a real big setup. Fifteen mil. I must admit, they're not my fave. I do like doing twenty eights. So after I've done these few, I might just do a few twenty eights to keep my sanity. It's still skin though. I've got so much skin to paint today. What's the thing you hate painting the most? Not that I hate painting skin. I actually do quite enjoy painting skin. <laughs> I've got to admit, these 15, you know, these AB figures definitely are nice aren't they i mean they're really well done for the size that they are I used to paint thousands of them years ago 15 mil yeah i've um just got a brand new pair of um glasses and um, it's actually making quite a difference and i'm just i've been working on making sure that i've got a uh, really good lighting like from um so at the moment i've got lighting from on top of the camera i've got lighting from straight above and i've got lighting from um, the right side so my paintbrush side um higher up as well um, i thought i would really really struggle going back to 15s after, well, they're 18s really, they're not 15s, um, after my 28s. But um, I must admit, you know, like, when you, when they're finished, it's still a finished figure, and if it looks good, it's cool. 3, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Maybe about 18s. 14. I'd have to be, be very careful with this. I thought it, um, they were in their amounts, but it's a 14 over there, and this looks like this is an 18. So I'll do when I'm done all the skin, I'll just make sure that I've got the right amount of guys in each group before I um I think the only thing really different about these guys is uh, I, I need to do two sets of white pants and two sets 
with um, grey pens. All the rest of the miniature is the same. Nice. Yep, and I've got um two um two big bulbs in um like some really decent kind of work light bulbs. Um but I've also got a skylight um above me. So when the sun comes out, um it's not it's not too bad. Now I've actually had to dull down the camera setting because um with the frost the sun has really come out bright there's not a lot of heat out there but the sun is out like crazy and it's actually too bright for the, the camera it's definitely harder painting with a camera um i found um if i'm not careful when i'm finished i could get a bit of a sore neck because you're in a slightly i seem to be in a slightly different angle even though it doesn't feel like it right so we've done 32 odd of those so far and believe it or not hey we'll catch you later mate nice having you um you yeah, pop in take care that might see you again so now we're going to change to um these guys i might just take it a little bit out Got quite a few of these to do. So. Trying to get the light in the right place. I don't know if that's worse or better. Hard, hard to see, isn't it? Sorry guys, I think we'll just put one light on. Yeah, see you later, man. These ones are um, yeah, the Federation of the Rhine, the Perry Miniatures. And um, these are part of a, a trade that I've, I've done for a Russian foundry things. These guys have already had the shadow flesh um, put on, and they've also had the um, flesh, flat flesh put on. And uh, wait a minute, no, the flesh base, and then this is flat flesh we're doing now.
G'day guys. Hope you're having a good one. I was just doing um, 15 mil uh, flesh before, and now I'm just having a wee break from that and doing a little bit of um, 28 mil flesh. Yeah, these peri miniatures are um, quite nice. It's because of the temperature. Or... Might be. The heat is on. It's too hot. <laughs> and when you uh, you take the, the heater off, it um it cools down here rather quickly. So I started these at work the other day. I was, I sometimes take some miniatures uh, with me to to work. And I get like half an hour lunchtime, and um, I just find it's amazing what you can actually get done in half an hour if you're if you're organised. So yeah, so I did that, and I got um. Of skin. Well, I did I did the first layer of skin the first day, and then I did the second layer of skin the second day. And uh, I thought, well, let's see if we can get these ones done. And then um, I've got to paint the Swedish in a, a different technique because I used to paint skin differently, and so I have to paint that later today. So it's only done with um two two coats in a in a wash. And luckily I still have the the old sedative wash that I, I used back then. So I can match it exactly. Oh dear. Sorry about that guys. My computer just came up and said that it wants to restart and I went to try and stop it and I hit the camera. So we're out of focus and everything now. We need to go higher, don't we? Sorry about that. I'm just wondering if I might just change change brush to a slightly slightly bigger brush. That was a bit like it was um, in our left paintbrush that I've been using. Um, 
I didn't I didn't clean it properly. <laughs> it's um I quite like it, so I'm a bit peeved and I'm now using um I don't, I don't really like new paint brushes when you start them. It's almost like they need a bit of time to kind of work themselves in. I'm just wondering what I I might put another one in here. I'll try that one. We'll get there in the end. Strange when you're painting live and you're not a hundred percent with me. How things are flowing. And it's not terrible, but it's definitely could be better. Okay, so I'll put a little bit more water in there. Bunches a bunch of people on, and then um, it's gone quiet. So, hope everyone's had a, um, had a good week. Managed to get a few miniatures painted. For the sounds of it, there's a few people that got um, miniature painting. Weekends ahead of them, which is kind of cool. Go this way. I don't know, it just doesn't seem as clear on the video for me today. A couple more down. Yeah, I normally start um, start painting a bit earlier, but um, I just couldn't couldn't get on. Wow, I was I was doing a um, trying to finish off one of the tutorials that I've been working on. Sometimes when there isn't fingers molded, you just gotta paint them in. Decided that um, when I start looking at um, painting my, my French army up again, that I want to redo this the skin. I started like maybe work on a, a new technique. Um, at the moment, um, I mean, I, lo I like what I'm doing, but. I think I can do better. The only problem is it will probably take a lot longer. <laughs> I can get a lot done. Well, that's why I suppose I am painting the way I'm doing it, because I can get a lot done. How's it going, guys? Here's a few more on. Just working on some Confederation of the Rhine. A note. 
figures doing the skin. Before I go back to doing um, another 30 odd um, AB British doing skin as well. Oh, g'day, g'day, mate. How you going? Why I start with skin? Um, I don't know. I, I, oops, excuse me. <laughs> I'm having a bad time. My camera's smacking into it today. Um, I've always started with skin, and um, especially on Napoleonics, um, I find like when you're you're painting up on collars and bits and pieces it's very easy to go to like or should i say when you're painting the skin it's very easy to go over the collars and things so um i've always started with skin and i do it on every every miniature um and i, and I kind of with it whoops so yeah that one there hasn't even had the other bit done on it so we'll go back um the other thing is that um when you put skin on, it brings them to life, and um, you can you start going, oh, cool. So a lot of people kind of, I know a lot of people do it at the end, but um, yeah, I I always do it first. G'day, David. Oh, cool, awesome. Yep, I've got um, I've just put a a wee order in for some front rank. To go with the ones I've got. So what did you um what did you order? I think it's very easy um yeah to get when you're doing the skin to actually get it on other areas around and so if, if you Paint the skin later, and then you get it over like a nice uniform and stuff. And it's a pain. Uh, yeah, it well, um, I've got a friend going over to England, and um, so um, I asked him if he'd pick me up. Um, six battalion was it six battalion bags six battalion bags of infantry um and cursors, cursors and some dragoons 12 horses to go with the hussars that i've already got that don't have horses um i think some uh, battalion bag of old guard and six guns and a crew British officers, oh, nice. Yeah, so I think my, that'll put my French army, unpainted of course, at about um, 300, 300 foot maybe. Um, three lots of cav and yeah, six guns. So it's a good, it's a good start to, to the army, that's for sure. Is close to what I've got in the Russian um, foundries. My disc is starting to get full. Skin on camera can be quite tricky because you're you painted a different slightly different angle. No. Yeah, um 
So what I'm what I'm actually doing is I'm I'm just stacking figures up. Um, for this year and most of next year. Um, so I won't be painting a lot of my own miniatures for the um, for that time. But after that, I intend on um, scaling down to almost nothing my uh, my commission work. Uh, you know, after 16 odd years, probably longer actually. It's, um, it's time. It's time to have a bit of a break which is funny because it's almost like only now is it starting to really scale up you know where people are, are wanting my work So at the moment I've been like I've been looking at the different kind of armies that I really want to collect and what miniatures I want to collect them in. So because I've done um I've done a French army um, two times before. And one of the, one of them did have a lot of um, front rank miniatures in them, but it also had a lot of peri plastics in it as well. So. Um, thought I'd like to do one that's all all front rank because I've got a I've got a few armies put aside now that I've I've painted for myself that I really like It's funny because one of the guys um, that follows um, went back through some of my old videos, and uh, it was it's quite nice because sometimes I think you know I got I got quite a few what I think is you know really cool cool videos, but they don't they've got hardly any views, and that's because back then I didn't have many followers, and generally when you you know when you follow someone you, you follow the new stuff. I must be. I, I kind of do that too. So I think I must. I need to um, start looking back at some of these guys' stuff. Oh, Drummer boy has started up the day, which is not too bad. It's eleven o'clock, which reminds me, my cup of coffee is going cold. Well, actually, my cup of coffee is probably cold. Yep, very cold. I got myself a nice cup of coffee because it's freezing out here. So these these ones um, are in a dark green. Which is going to be interesting because the um, some of the plumes on them are green. Oh, I've missed all his. It's down there. You'll go with the officer, which had a bit that's missed. Got about seven more of those to go. I suppose you could say I'm pretty much batch painting all day. And, uh, just want to make a, a real dent in these. I've got another, once it's warmed up enough outside, I've got another batch of um, 
these Confederation of the Rhine figures, um, people on Lippy, I don't know what they're, how you pronounce it, um, that need to be undercoated, but it's just too cold outside. And I don't want to risk something going wrong with spray painting in, in <laughs> minus conditions. Even though it's probably not minus conditions out there now, there's a bit of sunshine, but it's still flipping cold. Can't even feel my feet. I'm just trying to get all these figures done before I head away to my son's wedding in a couple of couple of weeks. Not sure if I will, but I can do my best. So when you not that there's many people on at the moment, but do you batch paint, you guys? I find um, I seem to batch paint a heck of a lot. Beach painting all the way, yeah. <laughs> get things done um, I found it hard with the Vikings um, I did batch paint but um, you could only batch paint certain certain parts of them like obviously the skin um, you could do um, and any um, male armor things like that you could do but um, because I painted them with so many different actual colours it, it was a bit, a bit hard right so we've just put the third layer of skin on just about all those I'm just going to fix up the two that were missing the second layer of skin that's what happens when you're at work the lighting's so bad at work that I was painting at work with um, a headlamp on my head pointing at the figures to try and um try and see them well enough right. just put a bit of water in the um in that other layer which has hopefully not dried too much so how many zulus have you got to paint in total drummer guy next door has been playing the same selection of songs all year I mean all year every Saturday every holiday <laughs> I thought he would have been 
I mean, he has gotten better, but I would have thought he would be a lot better by now. Hundred and fifty last year. That's a decent match. <laughs> yeah, it can be, it can get like that, can't it? Where you you're like, oh, I just don't want to look at those figures anymore. Your um your dark age guys are looking good. Excuse me. Um. Right. Back to Mr. A B. we wash over these same and that'll be the flesh completed and then I'll be on to I think I'll start on the um, Swedish colors after that The wording keeps disappearing. Oh, that's awesome, eh? Yeah, there's nothing quite like finishing a project. Um, yeah, I kind of love that feeling. You know what? I love watching it develop. But yeah, when you when you've completed it, you know, it's like sweet. And then you line up and you go, hmm, what next? And in your case, Zulus. So I've um, I've had these, well, at the moment I'm working on one, two, three, four projects at the moment. Um, trying to get the Greek light cavalry completed. And... Um, of course, these British, Swedes, uh, and then the two different confederation of the Rhine uh, units. Well, there's two, two units of each, actually. Which is actually quite a bit. I'm always doing quite a bit. I don't know if that's normal. Biggest thing is keeping up the quality. At some stage today, I've got to um, got to do some guitar practice. Oh, I had a disaster the other the other week. We you know, went out on Saturday night for music practice, and I uh, put on my acoustic guitar, put the strap on, and stood up, and it came off came off and it hit the floor which was a hard floor 
hard wooden floor and it didn't just dent it a little bit it snapped the neck it actually destroyed it a beautiful fender acoustic guitar became expensive firewood it's a disaster so i've been on to the insurance company and they have um, already paid out so I'm going to be ordering a new guitar come Monday. But it still costs because you've got to pay, you know, a little bit, so. So what's people's favorite size to paint? Is it 28? A lot of people are into 28s. So everyone used to be in the 15s. Then, then you got your 18s. 25s, 28s. Surprised actually how many people have done things like 40 mil and the, the 50 mil old figures. David, if you hop on and you see this, it's Panzer Ace's Flesh Base, and then it's Villaggio Model Color Flat Flesh as a second wash. I mean, sorry, second paint. And then I stick on Citadel Orgrin Flesh. So obviously, you, you won't get it, you can't buy that one anymore. So you'll have to find a substitute one for that. But it's just a a flesh wash which you can get lots of they I mean they obviously put out a new one since but um I went and bought I don't know how many I went and bought a heck of a lot now I've got to find find the there we go that's the lot there next lot Yeah, normally claims uh, take so long. Um, I put the claim in that night, um, Saturday night. Obviously, didn't get answered straight away. But um, they asked if I could resend um, the photos that I took. I did that, and um, it was paid out into my bank account yesterday. So, so I've been searching for uh, this exact same guitar, which I've I've found. So, I mean, I've got to pay the excess, obviously, but which is a pain because it, it's a few soldiers. But um, I'm supposed to be playing in in two weeks, so which is less than two weeks actually. It's um, it's next weekend. That one's being done. I need to I need to practice. I've been practicing on my electric, but um. It's not quite the same. Because I mean, I've never really played a lot of acoustic guitar. I've only really ever played a lot of electric guitar. Uh, and I had a break for about 10 years, so I'm just only really getting back into it. And of course, here I go and destroy my guitar. It's like far out. It's ridiculous. The reason it got destroyed is that I had it taken in um, to get the, um, the pickup inside the guitar tightened. And when the guy tightened it, he, he made the wee bit at the back where you plug in smaller. He said it looked better. I never really thought about it, but when he made it smaller, there's less for the strap to actually hold on to. And that's why it fell off. So I'm actually going to take it back to him, the broken one, and say, ahem. <clears throat> Look what you did. You never know, he might be able to fix it up enough to give it to someone. I 
just had a strange feeling with this wee lad next door. He hasn't learned the songs in over six months. Um, he's probably never going to really learn them. But he's not hurting anyone. <laughs> Teaching some new tunes. Yeah. He's playing some kind of strange country thing. I probably my ears would start bleeding. And then I'd get done for killing him. a bit too um oh no we won't go there even my daughter found it hard with me because um, all my kids are all well, the musicians now um and my daughter went into um university level um music and got a's and um i would I would sit there and go, look, you know, before she left, I was like, you know, you, you do realise, you know, you're singing this out of, out of tune, out of time, but yet, go away and the old university says that she's amazing, so. I'm a little bit harsh in my comments. Right. So. They're all completed. We'll just flick that up there. And what we'll do is we'll take a bunch that I did earlier. And we'll get a cheaper brush. And we'll get the Orgrin wash. Hey, we're up to four again. How's it going? And so what we do is um, just give that a, a quick wash over and if we can get that close and then sharpen her up I don't know if you can actually be able to see it let's lighten it no that makes it worse there yeah so the wash just pulls it out um, a little Obviously, you don't want to be too heavy on it. It will just mean that um, I'll have done the flesh this morning on 70 odd. AB miniatures. Oh, that's it. That's got too much. So I'll, on the Swedish guys that I'll, I'll start later, I'll be using the same, um, pretty much the same technique. I've just got to remember because as I said, it was about eight years ago when I painted them, what the two colours um, were. He sent down two of the figures, but um, as I said, my painting techniques have changed a heck of a lot in, um, in that time. And I've got a wee notebook, and I went back through them, but do you think I, it, it goes back that far? Nope. Funny seeing the number where people hop on and, and hop off. And I know that <laughs> I, I've done the same. You hop on and um, you disappear. 
you don't say anything. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that again. I think I'll hop on and I'll actually um, make sure that I say say hi. To tell you guys, it's quite nice. I know. I know. Sometimes you're watching it and you're working and you can't. Um, you can't say anything, but I do appreciate it. Eh? I do en enjoy. Uh, the chats. I mean, the thing is that I'm going to be sitting here doing this um, even if I wasn't online. So I'm, I'm here doing it anyway. But it's kind of fun just to um, share your passion with others, eh? So I've got um, my next video ready to go for the, um, the Greek light horse um, and I did some more work on them this morning so they're not far away now from, from completion Get some more figures in there sure. Just takes me back painting these to when I painted my own um, British army. It would be like, I think, I think I did my AV army maybe 13 or 14 years ago. I did a French and a British one. I think the pictures are still up on my blog. I've got a um, 15 minute uh, blog. And that's that's where I started. It's not got as much happening on it these days. I've put a little bit up, but um, most of my stuff's now here on YouTube. It's just time, really. You know? um, really, you know, where do you put all your your time and effort? Right, one last lot, and they're all done for their skin. I think um, you've just got to make sure that the wash that you put on this isn't too um, dark. Maybe whatever kind of wash you pick. This has got quite a ready tinge to it. on for one hour and nine minutes. I noticed I was looking at some of my stats and um, watch time for my videos is two minutes. So um, I think I'm going to have to do like a, a wee questionnaire and um, see whether people want me to stop talking as much before, um, before my video because sometimes my talk is longer than the watch time. So are people hopping on and then not watching the videos because I'm chat, or do I, you know, do I put the chat on at the end so only the, you know, the people that are really into it um, have to put up with watching me? Who knows? So I might do a wee, a wee thing on that. Here you go. That 
There's all the ABs done in this skin. Right, so we need to transfer those. Bring a board over. Bear with me for a couple of seconds. Just going to get those off the painting table. Oops. Clumsy. That lot there. Right, right. There. right. Just take those off. And we'll bring around these guys. whole pile of these Swedish guys to do. So they're from, um, well, actually, I don't know the maker, but it's Northern Northern Wars. Which I'd never heard of. Now, I need to pick the right paintbrush for putting on the first coat. Now, I think when I painted these, I used to put flat flesh as the first coat, which is my last coat now. And so, I'm almost wondering whether I do... Um, I might have to do a finished um, test. So even if I don't like it, um, if this happens to be what I'm doing, ugh, I don't know, just not sure. Don't you hate it when you've got to match something from ages ago? Um, no, I'm not doing that. So, gonna go with um, the same as the AB miniatures. did uh, uh, I don't actually know if I want to do that I'm gonna actually have to do a test so I've just wasted um, some paint that I've just put out let us um, finish off excuse me I'm losing it I'm losing it Let's just finish off this guy here And then I'm going to do something else. Because if I paint all those guys in that flesh colour, and it happens that it's not what I did, I'm stuffed, aren't I? I've got to start again. So I'm going to have to let that dry, and then I'm going to. Rest on it. Yeah, I'm not. Windows is trying to update again. Hey, how's it going? So the Swedes normally turn out in invincible, do they? Yeah. I painted a really large batch of these. Um, 
long time ago. He's uh, the Sweden, oh, and the Russians, for a guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the um, Confederation of the Rhine troops, and I'm going to put um, the first layer of pants on, I think. The, the Mick Highlander. How's it going, mate? Time for us. We'll get some coffee. I've got a huge cup of um, very cold coffee. That clonkety clonk was a Swede leaving the table. That's never good. Right, 10 seconds, guys. I just want to um, make sure that I get the color for the pants how I want it, which means... I saw it in one of my books, one that I liked. Okay. So, where are you hiding? No, not that one. What am I working on? I'm working on 15 mil AB figures. I've just finished the three coats of flesh. Um, I'm finished on. Whoop, that's very blurry. Sorry about that. That is really blurry. There we go. I'm finished. Um, I'm working on these Confederation of the Rhine troops. And I'm working on Swedish Northern Wars. So I'm just double checking how I want to paint uh, the paints on these these guys, um, and of course I decided I wanted to do it slightly different. And now I just got to double check on the colours. So I want it obviously wasn't that book that I saw them in. Too bad. Right. So I'm just going to do them different than I normally do. We're going to start off with a dark grey for their pants. So these are Anolt um, troops. And we're going to put a, a colt, a coat, not a colt. So we're going to put a bit of water in the mix. So, um, yeah, I want to do a nice, nice dark uh, Grey, so this is the first coat. So this is the first time I only just bought dark grey as a paint um, well, a couple of weeks ago. So, um, it's not a colour that I've had in my box of bits and pieces. bought about another 20 or 30 paints the other week just colors that I don't didn't have so and a few colors that I did but needed more of because I go through quite a bit and then in some of the um, painting war magazines that I, I use um, as reference, there's a few that use this this colour, and I thought, oh, it's a really nice finish. So, I mean, it's quite a nice, it's quite a nice grey, even just like that. So, um, I'm not, I'm not sure, hundred percent sure. I, mean, I probably should be using German grey as the base coat and then using this one as the, the highlight. Who knows? I'll probably just lighten it a little bit. So 
It's always interesting when you start painting a troop that you've never never painted before. I mean the green the green on this is gonna be interesting because um the green I think it's the green of these have um green plumes but green uniform and they've got green um shoulder it's epaulets and that kind of stuff. So but I want the two greens to be different, but they're both they actually are both like green. So I'll make sure I get it right. I really do enjoy painting. Um, okay, it's a little bit of flash poking out. Um, figures from the Napoleonic era. So these ones I won't be basing up. There's a few jobs at the moment that will be coming in and going out unbased. Try and um, try and finish off my Greek light cavalry this afternoon as well. Because once I've once I've finished the Greek light cavalry, then um, I can I can focus on. Uh, these couple of jobs that I've started. So there's 36 figures of these ones, and then I've got 36 figures of the um, the lippy, and then I've got um, 36 figures. I think I've got 34 figures of the um, Swedish Northern Wars to get done. I'd like to get them done in two weeks oh and there's i don't know 60 odd of the ab british so it just depends on um how much time i get out in my wee room here I really quite like that grey. I think it'll make a good um, second coat for the um, Prussians that I'll be doing later when they arrive. <laughs> I've been looking for a, um, the right colour to do do the Russian blue and the Russian grey for the pants. So, I mean, I will be using, um, not Russian, did I say Russian? I mean Prussian. <laughs> I probably did say Prussian, just, yeah. <laughs> Bit much on me, I'll just use a little bit on the next one. I loaded the brush up just a little bit too much on that one. The old Perry's, they do make some nice miniatures, don't they? So 
So the belts are, are black on these guys. So um, even though I've undercoated it black, I've kind of decided that I'm going to just paint out the whole top of the green and then start fresh over top. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So we'll see how that goes. But that is my plan. So anything you guys are working on that's um, you know interesting or or that you might be struggling with? You know, I'm always happy to try and help. I know I'm not um, I'm not perfect at it all, um, but I do have fun trying to work out things. You know, when something's not that easy or color combinations I'm pretty lucky because I work as a printer um, and I've been doing that for 36 years um, and when you work as a printer um, when you mix inks um, you mix uh, generally three colors together to make your to make it your ink um, and so it it means that my kind of my brain Kind of works in that when i look at a, when i look at a color um my brain breaks it down as though i would, would be doing it at work um, so it's kind of it's helped me in, in quite a bit actually it means that instead of like painting something and going oh, blast that doesn't work um, in most cases I'm, I'm able to get it the first first go even if it's a colour that I've never done before. So I'm pretty lucky that way. So even though I'm, I'm painting fast, I'm still trying to paint careful. Um, trying to be as neat as I, I can. Just means it's less this work to do later. So what I'm probably going to do, I think after this is, um, so after I finish this grey, I'm going to hop off. And then I've got, I've still got about 16 figures to go. There's another little bit of flash that I missed. Um, and I'm going to have some lunch, go and see my parents, and um, I'll hop back on again later this afternoon and do. Um, well, actually, um, Rocky's War Room, they're, they're on this afternoon. So instead of doing my own one, I think I'll hop on these. So make sure you pop over and see uh, Rocky's War Room later on this afternoon. So uh, they have a, you can have a, like a bunch of guys on at the same time. I'm not much of a technical buffin, boffin. So um, it took me enough to get, get my own, my own camera up and going, let alone anyone else on it, on, on the line at the same time. Still want to get those Swedish guys completed skin this weekend. So I'll we'll be having another wee look at those. Oh, 
probably painting with my hand in the road. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm doing that all the time, like that, aren't I? Um, I'll work on stopping that. Very sorry. I mean, you don't you don't hop on to see my hand. Um, you hop on to see the painting, don't you? Sorry. Like that, maybe. So that what what happened there is I'm trying to paint fast again. And when I paint fast, I forget about the um about the cameras there. Busy chatting away, but not looking up to see um what it looks like. What I, what I need to do is I need to actually bring the, the camera a little bit closer and a little bit higher up, pointing down. So um, I'll try and get that sorted before I hop on this afternoon. G'day John, how's it going? Hope all's well where you are. Just busy slapping on the first layer of um, some grey pants. What's happening in your neck of the woods? saying I keep putting my hand in front of the camera um, and I'm gonna have to sort that out otherwise people are gonna stop watching <laughs> join the season infecting here in Australia Are you painting much at the moment? Nice. I was painting um, 15 mil AB British um, to start this morning. I'm going to get their skin skin done, but um, I'll be doing some more work on them at some stage, trying to get them completed. I only just started, really, but. I always like Bavarians. Just that little bit of extra colour and style on no. I've actually never painted them, but I just, every time I see them, I think, oh, that cool. <laughs> One day. My computer is so wanting to do a, a um, Windows update at the moment. <laughs> it's like, go away, Windows update.
those updates generally just muck everything up. How many have we got? About nine to go. Oh, one's come off his base. That's annoying. Maybe, maybe ten to go. Sticking back on. Oh, okay. These aren't for me. These have, um, you saw me uh, with the unboxing the big box of lead that turned up the other day, seven kgs of lead turned up at my house. Um, and these were in there as part of the, you can have these if you paint Paint these for me, so got, it. got uh, about a hundred and hundred and two figures to paint. And uh, four of those, or oh, these four regiments of um, Confederation of the Rhine figures to do as part of them. And um, a bit of fun painting them actually, I quite enjoy it. So what other, um, are you like, doing the Bavarians, uh, any other units that you're, um, you're doing for the Confederation of the Rhine? Too much out, I've only got a few figures to go. Saxons, Wittenberg, Westphalian, Polish. Okay, so it's it's. It's, I should have asked the question, is there anything you're not doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of racking and stacking my miniatures at the moment. Um, looks like I've just about got enough for my whole um, French army. Um, once the next lot of miniatures arrive, um, I'll be able to just have a look and see what holes holes there are and then I might have to look and see um, yeah, what allies I want to do for my army I've never done allies before for my army my French army always just painted French 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 and more French um, British Funny thing is, I painted um, a large 15 mil British army, but I didn't like playing it. I don't know why. So, I mean, like all, like most of my stuff, I ended up selling it. <laughs> that is a habit I'm going to have to stop. 
start keeping my own stuff so it's well now So that's what I'm painting at the moment, uh, AB British, but um, that for a guy in Australia as well. You might know him. Mike, uh, is it Michael? No. Yeah. Oh, far out. I've lost it. <laughs> There's a few guys that I'm painting for at the moment, and um, they do have similar names. Last name's Maxwell. David. David Maxwell. He comes from Australia. So even though I've had miniatures going all around the world, never before this painted for anyone in Australia. Right. So there's 36... Um, of those guys with their green on. And how are we going with this ugly looking fella here? This guy here with his ugly ugly first layer of skin that is so bright you can hardly see. Um, I'm trying to remember how I painted years and years and years and years ago because I have to match these figures. And um, as soon as I put that on, I was like, ah, oh, that is horrible. But I'm, I've got to do a test. So we're going to, because this has a wash on it. So put a little bit put that on. Put that on. Oh, it just looks terrible. I hate it. Thing is that I did quite a few figures for this guy, and now he wants me to do another 36. So even though uh, I'll darken the picture, so you might better actually see it. Oh, I know he just looks shocking, but he's got to have a, a wash go over that skin. And if by some chance that is how I did it, lucky me. If not, I'm toast. Push the info button. No. Ooh, gone. <sighs> right, yeah, guys. All four of you. It's time for me to go have some lunch and then um, be a good son and go visit my parents. Um, I'm going to be back on later on this afternoon. Um, I might even be back on here, and then if not, I'll be back on later with... Um, Rocky's War Room at about 3 o'clock. So um, either we'll catch you live here or we might catch you on his channel live later on. So, hey, take care. Um, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully it hasn't been a ball fest for you because it's just been skin, 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 and more skin. Yep, must be late for you over there. Um, and it's yeah, 12.01, which is time for a nice curry from leftovers from last night's dinner so um we'll catch you later guys